Oh, howdy folks. We're trying to get caught up here a little bit. Uh, what I'm showing you right now, or what you saw at the intro, was the uh, $5 uh, table. I'll just give you a little bit more of a walk around video of the $5 table. And uh, then we will uh, progressively just really quickly uh, replace the bottom shelf, ran a shelf in the middle, and then put some trim on it, painted it black, uh, refinished the top. The, the uh, top, I think I explained it, uh, two, a couple of uh, coats of dark, like a dark walnut type stain, and then uh, a couple of coats of uh, poly shade, which is a product that you can get from uh, the big box stores, and just a couple of coats of that to sort of seal it. Also sealed the uh, drawers, waxed them a little bit so they slide in and out of the cabinet a little bit better. The whole idea was to progressively try to hide as much of the cables around the everything as possible and get the devices that we want to use up on top where we have direct access to, the, in this case, the turntable, the sound bar, and the DVD player. Uh, the Sony PlayStation, I decided to remove that for the time being. The whole idea was to get the cabinet to hold the entertainment stuff that we have and the cabinet made more sense than the other television cabinets that we had in the past so this one's more open but it holds everything for the time being so it was like this is a win you know all the way around but for five dollars and then a restoration project on it which is always you know tacking up some cutting some wood and tacking up and building a bit of a cabinet out of it was uh, a lot of fun it was it was an adventure but i liked it so anyways We'll do, we'll roll a few clips of that and then we're going to get into the other situation today which is the, the draw for the Saker and we'll be back with that since we finished this cabinet job. Uh, there we go. So we'll just sort of take it from there. It's kind of windy out here so. Quite a few days later, and uh, yeah, this is where I'm at. <laughs> this is a cheap $5 cabin that came from basically a yard sale, and we sanded it down. And we did a, 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 a really almost black uh, Jacko Bean uh, stain, and we didn't like it, so we're going to do the whole thing in just a glossy black finish. Actually, that's at least that's the down the plan at the other end. Meantime, this is all uh, recycled lumber that I've taken from other projects where I ripped something out of uh, somebody else's house, like a, a cabinet. And so I cut the uh, lumber down to put a new shelf in the center here that there was no shelf. So now there is a shelf that will be here in the center. And this is actually the back of the cabinet that you're looking at. This comes back far enough that this whole back will be wrapped in a, uh, in a sheet that's about six by two foot uh, sheet of like a plywood that'll be back here and same with the sides and then we'll be boxing the uh, front of these legs in at the front so there's still quite a bit to do but this is where I'm at okay to give you an idea this is uh, sorry about the lighting it is a living room but the cabinet is black with the original wood uh, just stained and then like I said a couple of coats of poly uh, poly shade on top to kind of give it that finished look. The whole idea is that all the cabling underneath is totally disappeared so you can see all the way to the back wall here there's no cables on the floor anymore and the, it's wide enough now that I've got my sound bar, my DVD player, my speakers and we wanted the turntable up here so a little different but, um, also the uh, amplifier of course is in here. The cabinet overall is just six feet long but it just gives me enough space to have you know the sort of things that I want plus the game machine and stuff uh, so that was the whole uh, process of thinking here was an open cabinet that would give us the options. I also did a, uh, a power bar at the back here where all the cabling is collected up and that way uh, everything is stored back here and out the front here of course you don't see really any cables other than the minimal, minimal cables coming down from the TV but uh, that's the uh, that's the project from a five dollar cabinet to uh, to that. Oh yeah. So that was the five dollar TV cabinet. And just sort of skip through it real quick for you guys because uh, 
we got to get to something else here. We got to give this away. So, <laughs> and we got tickets. We got a bu we got a bucket. Uh, let's see. And we'll do the right bucket, and we'll get some tickets. We'll throw the tickets in, and let's stir them all up, and see who's got the who's getting the saker this week. And then we got to start another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just keep going and going and going. All right. So we get these tickets mixed up. That um, cabinet for five dollars. Uh, most of it was recycled lumber that I used. I did buy some trim pieces, so I don't actually have a total price spent, I guess you could say, on that project. But it was worthwhile because it was a cabinet that was usable, so it was like, eh, it didn't really matter. Uh, the only place you could have bought something cheaper would have been Ikea. Yeah, don't want to go there. So, let's get us a ticket and see who we got here. And we have, oh wow. Ellsworth in Westminster, Maryland. Okay, Ellsworth, guess what? You're getting a, you're getting a saker. I'm mailing this to you, uh, probably tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute, Friday. Uh, we have Good Friday this week, so we'll get this out to you as soon as the post office is open. <laughs> How's that sound? But uh, congratulations, Ellsworth. Yep, in Westminster, Maryland. I don't even know where that is, but uh, yes, I, I thought I knew Maryland pretty good, but uh, that was a new one on me. So, I'm sure glad that's over with, aren't you? Now, let's see, what's the next item? Let's see, I'm at the, you know the old routine, I have to get down here, so. First, we gotta find a product, which we do. <clears throat> now, now, it just so happens I have, where is it here? Ah. This past week, we did uh, a, light, a really nice light, light fixture, really nice one. And it's a motion detection lamp, just like the one you saw <laughs> earlier this week on Monday. And it's brand new, still in the box. It was sent here by my, fr uh, by my friend Ella, Ella out there in uh, California. Sent this over to us so we could do reviews on it. And it's motion detection and it has some uh, day night features, that sort of thing. Heavy glass, it's a nice piece. This is all in some nice foam, so we'll put this in a box and send it out to you. So, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to have a, you're going to have to uh, write an email, and at the top of the email, which will be at, uh, let's see, coffee and tool rewards at gmx.com, and I'll put that, like I always do, right above my head so you can, you know, get a look at what the email address looks like. In the subject line, you're just going to write LAMP, which is L-A-M-P-S, and then uh, for the body of the letter, just your name and your address, like you're doing a return for a postal address on an envelope, something like that. Well, after the draw, we destroy the tickets. We de we've already destroyed. I can tell you right now, we have already totally ripped that email box apart and made sure it's all deleted, cleaned out. Even the spam junk, there was lots of it. Uh, all that junk is all cleaned out again. So the email box is sitting there at GMX and it is empty. It is waiting, yeah. <laughs> For, for anybody that wants a, a shot on this one. And next Thursday, we'll do a draw just like you saw, and we'll pull this. Now, coming up Thursday, and it's the lamp. Uh, I can't remember what the retail value on it is, but it's a nice one. I want to get it out of here and get it to you. Well, somebody out there that's watching, I want you to have this, okay? <laughs> and enjoy it, because it's, it is an awesome, it's a, it's a neat lamp. It's, you'll, you won't believe how nice the quality is when you get one of these. Meantime, that was it for this week, and thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Monday, we got another hack job coming up. Should be uh, interesting, and uh, new item review. I think the retail on this item coming up Monday, I believe it's around $500 or $550, so it's a pretty expensive little item. And I want to do a test on something here. I just saw something the other day. I saw a commercial where they use a laser to blow rust off of metal. So I was thinking, why not hit it the uh, metal, some rusty metal with one of these uh, engraving lasers and just see if it actually does anything to the rust at all. Be an interesting uh, experiment, I guess. So meantime, have a great weekend, guys. For, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'm out of here and over and out. There you go.